People around the world share a love of chocolate. It is one of the most delectable and enticing food. But is it really as sweet as it tastes? Despite of holding such a huge and lucrative global market, total value of $22,607 million, it has a secretive dark part to its sweetness. In West Africa, cacao is a commodity crop grown primarily for export. As the chocolate industry has grown over the years, so has the demand for low-priced cacao. Today, cacao farmers rarely make a living selling the beans and often resort to the use of child labor in order to keep their price competitive. UNICEF estimates that nearly half a million children work on farms across Ivory Coast, which produces nearly 40% of world supply of cocoa. The agency says hundreds of thousands of children, many of them trafficked across borders, are engaged in the worst form of child labor. It is primarily made of cocoa from cocoa pods. First, we want to find out where the cocoa is from. The cocoa beans is from uh, South America or Africa? Africa. Elfenbein Christi. Africa. Africa and South America. Mostly from Ghana and Ivor. Ivory Coast? Ivory Coast, yes. Okay. Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast, yes. The Swiss company Barry Kelebo is the largest supplier of cocoa mass for the industry. Most of their cocoa comes from the Ivory Coast. How many people have you uh, employees in, in, for instance, in Ivory Coast? In, in, in Ivory Coast, particular, I don't know it by heart. In general, we have almost 1,000 people working in origin countries. In the oh, that's a lot. So out of the 7,500, almost 1,000 people are working in origin countries. What about the rumors? Uh, I've heard about rumors about child labor and trafficking. Does it exist, the trafficking of kids in Ivory Coast? To be honest, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if, if these traffics exist, and if it exists, uh, I presume that it is exceptional. It has been you know, a few times now in those origin countries. These are things I haven't seen myself. Uh, but if it exists, yeah, okay, it's clear that it should be condemned, and this is, again, something which is absolutely unacceptable. Uh, of course. But, okay. Thank you very much. Where do you get the cocoa beans from? Um, the cocoa beans, they come from different regions uh, in the world, but most of our cocoa beans, they come from uh, Africa. Okay. Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana. Do you know where the beans are coming from in, in Ivory yes. Coast? Yes. You yes. do, too. So we have that uh, tracking system that really goes back. Uh, we, have, we work with the three most important uh, chocolate manufacturers in uh, Belgium, uh, which is Barry Calabalt, Cargill and Belcolade. Because I've heard rumors about, you know, child labor and trafficking. Do you know anything about that? Uh, they have, I think you then ideally speak about that subject with the people from Barry Calabout, for instance, because they make sure and that they have plans and they work together with the cooperatives uh, in those uh, regions where people are paid properly okay. for their uh, cocoa beans. Okay. The largest chocolate manufacturers signed an agreement in 2001. It's called the Harkin Engel Protocol. It states that child labor and the trafficking of children are prohibited in the cocoa industry after 2008. Range of organizations, the chocolate industry is accused of covering up the trafficking of children and the use of child labor on the cocoa plantations. Our first stop is Mali. Children are said to be smuggled from Mali to the cocoa plantations on the Ivory Coast. This is trafficking. It all starts at a cocoa plantation. The cocoa pods are harvested and the beans are dried in the sun. Then the cocoa beans are bought by intermediaries at one euro a kilo. They sell them to national exporters. 
The beans are then washed, packed and sold. Now the price is two and a half euros a kilo. From the stock exchange, the cocoa is sold on to the chocolate companies. The companies turn them into cocoa powder or cocoa butter. The chocolate manufacturers make chocolate. A kilo of cocoa at one euro for the farmer becomes 40 chocolate bars. Canadian competition regulators have charged two of the world's biggest chocolate makers, Nestle and Mars, with price fixing there. The Canadian arm of the US company Hershey was also accused of involvement. Canada's Competition Bureau said that Hershey had reported the alleged offences, cooperated with the investigation and would plead guilty to a single count of price fixing in return for a promise of lenient treatment. Top bosses of Mars and Nestle have been charged, along with the head of a national network of independent wholesale distributors in Canada. All said that they will vigorously defend themselves against the allegations. This follows a five-year-long investigation, which has resulted in Hershey, Mars and Nestle reaching previous legal settlements in class action suits. Chocolate is here, for starters. Many studies have shown chocolate is chock full of antioxidants. The very idea that chocolate can be heart healthy, it almost seems counterintuitive, but at the same time, apparently there is some proof that supports that. And that has been shown in a number of studies, 130 published papers, that it can have a very positive effect on cardiovascular health. The truth is that consumers today have no sure way of knowing if the chocolate they are buying involves the use of child labor. There are many different labels on chocolate bars today such as Fair Trade Certified. However, no single label can guarantee that the chocolate was made without the use of exploitive labor. In 2010, the founders of the Fair Trade Certification process had to suspend several of their West African suppliers due to the evidence that they were using child labor. Tout d'abord, il faut que vous sachiez une chose. Moi, personnellement, je suis né dans le cacao et j'ai jamais trouvé un enfant de 10 ans ou de 15 ans ou de 16 ans ou bien de 13 ans travailler dans une plantation. Il n'y a pas d'enfants dans les plantations. To the border town of Zegwa. And from there, they are smuggled across the border. A child from Burkina Faso can be bought for 230 euros. And that's without haggling. The price includes transport, an indefinite use of the child. Most children never get paid. Holding a single large pod in one hand, the children strike the pod with the machete and open it with the tip of the blade, exploding the cocoa beans. Each strike of the machete has the potential to severely cut a child's finger or hand. In addition to the hazards of using a machete, children are also commonly exposed to agricultural chemicals on the cocoa farms. In Ivory Coast, they have to deal with prophylic insect populations and choose to spray the pods with large amount of industrial agricultural chemicals. Did you uh, want to go to, to work in the cocoa plantation? Mm -hmm. The use of child labor in the cocoa industry is prevalent. This is in spite of the international chocolate manufacturers in 2001 having signed a protocol to the contrary. In my uh, neighborhood where I'm living, I'm experiencing this every day. We're told that trafficking takes place from the bus station. 
The man has spotted a girl entering a bus with a female trafficker. Maybe I can step in here and look down. Once we get to the bus, the woman has disappeared. This is the girl, you yeah. know, that was yeah. uh, they took out of the, of the bus now. Yeah. Uh, what's your name? Maria. Ebu, Ebu. Segu is a village 450 kilometers away from this bus station. But why is she here? Musoi, I am Mufe, Kibita Musro, Kodivar. The girl says she's 12, but you shall think she's younger. She was promised work in Burke, an area with many cocoa plantations. The girl is now handed over to social services, who will bring her back home. The situation today is uh, very, very sad to me and is heartbreaking. But this is not the first time, you know. My life is full of this kind of situation. This is why, you know, I really feel very, very bad and cry. So you don't think that uh, the children from Mali and uh, Burkina Faso are being uh, trafficked to uh, the Ivory Coast to work in uh, the cocoa plantation? No, 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 no. This is the junction for all traffic to the Ivory Coast. How is it with the trafficking of uh, children? And this is a dimension traffic a bay. A bay dimension of Bordeaux. But only like a bar Belembe. He has statistics of the children he has rescued from trafficking. In 2008 and 2009, he rescued over 150 children. His list includes children aged seven. Several children have disappeared from here after being lured away by traffickers. How many uh, children has uh, left your village to go to the Ivory Coast? How old are the, the children when they uh, leave? When you move the team, you the staff to draw a passable visible letter. May all for two commit the anchor and a loot a lot of duty at a noity. Forta Calam, baby, come the car. Question for the chocolate industry. Oh, sure. Do you like chocolate? Yes, who doesn't? Do you think the price of chocolate is reasonable? Uh, I think the cheaper the better. Uh, yes, but it's very good now. 
Do you know where is the cocoa product come from? Oh, I think it's from Here's a review Africa, from a chocoholic. Okay, if child child slavery is involved in cocoa production, will you still buy it? I think I wouldn't, but how can I tell it? Okay, would you pay double price for the piece of chocolate has fair trade logo on it? Uh, I think it's a good idea, uh, but double price, I don't think so. If we can just make everything with a fair trade logo on it, I think that's a more feasible way. Mm. But yeah, I would like to buy cheaper ones with fair logo on it. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you very much. about a million pounds of chocolate every single day and we use as much milk as the city of Philadelphia. Is the trafficking going on from here every day? Don't really take a good one. Don't go to more get a minimum order. Don't go to. So now you carry digging a ground. Tell me it's rapid. But even a joint, even a joint, you will have to keep it up. Tante, because you are very young, but also police can handle it. You are just going to be a man. The restaurant owner contacts a trafficker who transports children on his motorbike. An hour later, the trafficker arrives. We promise not to mention his name. Me, the trafficker. Bon, trafic qu'on est frontière là était ce qu'à faire qu'au carcel de trafiquer. Parce que Doha que allez ben en bla, Doha là allez ben en bla. Bon, t'as voulu qu'elle entre là quoi? Dans frontière là là, ni quoi il va faire qu'au carcel de trafiquer qui est galantique. Bon, souvent on a dit non, c'est rien au nier, au bout et du cadavre. Trafficking is said to take place from the city's bus station. Normally, this guarded crossing is used. According to the restaurant owner, while they're going over land, we fly to the cocoa capital of Abidjan in the south, houses the head offices of the largest chocolate manufacturers. Here we find Nestle, Cargill, ADM, and Barry Calipo, who all have their head offices here with several hundred. Elle s'est déroulée sur les routes. Elle s'est déroulée dans les marchés. Elle s'est déroulée dans les plantations où nous sommes allés en profondeur dans les deux premiers jours pour aller chercher des enfants. Et le second jour, nous sommes revenus à l'intérieur de la ville. Mais bien évidemment, quand on était au dernier jour, les gens se sont rendus compte que la police était présente. Ils ont commencé à cacher des enfants. Donc les enfants, on les cachait dans les maisons. Et puisqu'on n'avait pas accès aux maisons. How many children were uh, saved uh, in the operation Bia? Au total, alors, nous avons eu à intercepter 65 enfants. Mali. Burkina Faso, Niger, Nigeria, Togo, and Benin. Nous avons effectivement interpellé des, des, des trafiquants. We have a particular responsibility, not only regarding sustainability, economic sustainability of the cocoa sector, but also on the social sustainability of the cocoa sector. That's why we, we don't know really exactly know the uh, extent uh, of the child labor in, in particularly in Africa figures are not reliable however we do know that there uh, we might have a very worrying situation I think that in uh, the resolution it's very good that they say that um, 
it's a it's a shared responsibility. It's a shared problem also of child labor in the cocoa supply chain, and all stakeholders within the supply chain have to do something to remediate the problem. Uh, in the resolution, there's a very concrete demand uh, towards other states and regions. European Parliament uh, proposes in trade agreements that they want legally binding measures uh, when there's a breach uh, against human rights. Um, and there's even measures in case of infringement. So I think that's very valuable. The, the Interpol has rescued uh, 65 children in an operation. What is your comment to that? C'est médiatisé, c'est la catastrophe. L'État de Côte d'Ivoire, même les journaux en parlent, la télévision en parle, aux infos. Oui, on a trouvé un enfant dans une plantation, cinq enfants, et le gars, il est conduit directement en prison. Donc, vous conviendrez avec moi que l'État est en train de mener cette campagne de lutte contre les enfants dans les plantations. More than 10 years ago, uh, the industry made a promise to eliminate the worst forms of child labor. We're still waiting for that promise to be fulfilled and we cannot wait for another 10 or even 20 years. I mean, things have to change now because otherwise for children, the future will not change in West Africa. I, I went to the north, uh, the northern part of Ivory Coast, the borders uh, up, uh, next to uh, Sigwa. The traffickers just, you know, take the children and uh, go through the, the back road. But honestly, between you and me, Okay, the crop, the cocoa crop, starts in October and finish in March. So if you see people coming in July, September, October, it's not for cocoa. There's no cocoa around, so it's not to work in the cocoa farm in the cocoa farms. Coming in Cote d'Ivoire, to have, I mean, Cote d'Ivoire is like uh, we are foreign. We want to go to France. We want to go to United States to spend. I mean, for vacation. September, in July, August, September, what are they going to do? There's no fear. What about in April? In April, uh, that's different. Yeah, but I, I saw it in April, actually. In April, that's the only thing, I mean, that's the one thing we, we stop in April. People may, I mean, they will try to do it. There is the law against, we've got the law, trafficking, uh, uh, child labor, everything. It's against Arico's law, it's against. Now we're heading to Geneva in Switzerland. We want to show our film to ILO, a part of the United Nations. How do you feel about that? It's very sad. It's very sad to see, I must say. It's a very, uh, it's often, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I personally, I've been working uh, in the area of uh, uh, programs and policies against child labor for some uh, 13 years now. But every time you see something like this, you know, it, it serves as a, as a shocking reminder, I must say. And often enough, uh, you know, uh, I have to add, perhaps, uh, it's a, it's a feeling of, uh, of helplessness which overcomes you when, you when you see something like that. I, I mean, it's a very, uh, it's a very dangerous uh, uh, work uh, kids do in these uh, plantations. It's not only the machetes, but it's the, uh, it's they often carry heavy loads. Uh, we, we see that they are, they're often exposed to pesticides. Uh. Mm -hmm. When you work with pesticides, uh, uh, the effects will only come out in, in 20 or 30 years. Uh. Yeah. Does the protocol work, in your opinion? I think uh, we have seen uh, some progress uh, in the area. Um, the, uh, uh, the, the topic has been, uh, has been uh, kept in the international debate. Uh, governments have been sensitized uh, and some knowledge has been put on the table. But in terms of real change, uh, we have seen relatively uh, little so far. If you ask me now, well, how many kids do actually work in cocoa plantations in Cote d'Ivoire and, uh, and Ghana? I wouldn't be able to give you an exact figure. Yet not them. I did chia. I see I my dear for ban me cost to pa. I need this school. Now university number parliament. 